back to Covers and Chrome. I'm your host, Scott Bars. This week on the show, my absolute favourite band in South East Queensland, Van Moss. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got Joshy. Hello. G'day, g'day. How in you the doing, corner. Everybody? What do you do, Josh? I, uh, I do the vocals and the guitar, which is pretty nice. Yes. Yeah. I enjoy it. Yes, anyway. We got James. <laughs> what Boy. do you do? Boy. Bang, bang. Bang. <laughs> James, do bang, bang. <laughs> 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 and we got Cameron. What do you do? Guitar. Guitar. Oh, uh, other guitar. Other guitar. <laughs> <laughs> and Casper. Bass. Bass. Boom, boom. Yeah. And today, you guys played an original song titled "Ceiling." Very, very beautiful song. I love that one. Thank you. Thank you. And why did you pick "Ceiling"? Why did we pick "Ceiling"? Well, uh, we thought that it. It's one of our favorite songs to play live, I reckon. And I think I can sp speak for all of us when we say, yeah, that. And um, yeah, we wanted it to give its like, its moment to shine, I think, in the, in... And, yeah. And, and, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sort of encapsulates our entire sound mm. as a whole in one sort of song. You know, it's a bit of a journey and it's it's, it's all of the Van Moss flavors as much as we can get into one song. So, That's yeah, so yeah, I re I really love the dynamics. How it just goes from super quiet and chill to just like fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah, second, yeah, yeah we love it. Slaps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it goes hard. And scales by Skinny Jean is the cover that you did today. Mm. Who who is the one that picked that song? Uh, I, I showed um, all these guys that song like when I first met them and we all just got really into it. It's a song that uh, me and my best friend discovered when we were in like high school and yeah, I'm, so, I'm just so glad all the other guys like really loved it. So yeah, yeah. And they're, they're, a, they're a fucking Brisbane band. They have like, they're no, they are no more. Nobody knows them. They are absolute fucking prodigies. Um, so they're not around anymore. No, nah, no, nah, they've been they've been gone for like maybe like seven years now, mm. and yeah, no, they've got like no monthly listeners on Spotify, which is an absolutely fucking and tragedy. Like, less than a hundred, like a thousand, like yeah, songs it's fucked up. Like they're fucking. <laughs> they're, yeah, yeah. I'm um, so sad Brisbane just Brisbane. swallowed that band. Yeah. Like it's <laughs> fucked. Well, there's so much competition in Brisbane. Like, yeah, there's so much good shit out and here. And also, I think they all had kids as well, so oh. <laughs> they okay. just did that. They, they really were. Yeah. They were definitely ahead of their time. <laughs> and Van Moss, where are you guys from? Here. Local Brisbane area? This swamp, actually. Literally. <laughs> no, yeah, we're all from Brisbane. Um, funny, yeah. No, I met James uh, on the side of the street in King George. He's busking outside King George Square. Drums? Drumming. Yeah, Drumming yeah crazy. Is, yeah. Are you like one of those pot drummers? <laughs> no. no, no oh, always stoned though. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess you could say pot drummer. No, no, just kidding. Amazing. And what is the origin of the band name Van Moss? Oh, what that's what the you, fuck is a Van Moss? I've been trying to work that out for a long time. Well, um, I thought Moss was a really cool name for a band. Just because it, I don't know, it's, Moss is cool. And then... You like your IT crowd, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the and that's all growth. Dem songs and are then, shit in it. And then yeah, I was, I was trying to think of a. There's already a band called Moss in Germany, yeah. so I was trying to think of something else. And then I just thought, Van. the music's kind of arty. So I was like, Van Gogh, Van Moss. Oh, okay. Oh, it's, uh, <laughs> you only just that only just click for you. <laughs> Dude, and, then, up, and, then, and then we found out then we found out that in Dutch it's from Moss so then I like to think of myself as a little Moss man ah. and so I'm like from Moss nobody so then nobody nobody killed the Moss man <laughs> a bit of so, Moss yeah. Man. <laughs> yeah exactly so we are from Moss as an essence and uh, so yeah. which artists have most heavily influenced Ooh. the sound of Van Moss collectively Dude, I feel like that's such a... I feel like I'll answer that on a personal basis. Because yeah. I can't speak for the whole sound. Because I reckon our sound is derived from, like, all our, like, individual inspirations. Mm. And, like, yeah. And like, you James, you your, like, a... math rock background and, like, all that emo punk stuff. And then, like, you know, me just, like, a singer-songwriter, like, acoustic. I got into that kind of, like, you know, when I first started writing songs. Mm. But, yeah. 
I think, well, personally, my influence is like, like bands like Puma Blue. I love that, like, lo fi. He's got, he's got a cool six style. And then, like, Matt Corby is just fucking legendary. So, yeah. I think that's, yeah, that's it. Amazing. Yes. Okay. I'm 100% always just trying to be the drummer from Toe. So that, that's it. That's the only thing I try and be. I'm just try and force it up everything I can. So, um, I know I'm really into like atmospheric, kind of psychedelic, spacey shit. So mm. I try and bring some of that into the into the sound. You can definitely hear that in your lead guitar tone. Yeah. Like, a lot of drenched reverb. Yeah, is yeah. So it's soaked yeah. in it. I love it. Yeah. Um. Musician from all of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, I actually came to Brisbane in grade ten. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd been living in um, Narrabri, out in uh, Northwest New South Wales. Shout out oh, to anyone who knows okay. where Narrabri is. Slash, been there. A lot of people I talk to randomly just somehow have a connection to Narrabri and it freaks me out because it's like 7,000 people but anyway I, I have no idea <laughs> yeah well you're one of the few that doesn't have a connection to Narrabri so that yeah makes me feel better because it <laughs> weirds me out sometimes um, but yeah so I did a lot of jazz and rock bands in high school mm. um, my school had a pretty big arts program performing arts so I'm, I'm really grateful for that because that took me from I'd only started playing the bass for a year Mm. before I'd moved up to um, Brisbane and that sort of um, skyrocketed me to where I am now. I did. I was at the con for six months yep. doing the jazz bass program and then COVID hit. Um, so, yeah, dropped out from that. But, yeah, I'd say, you know, a bit of a bass nerd. So I like the bassist from Muse and like Victor mm-hmm. Wooten and Marcus Miller, those slap guys. And, um, Do you like Thundercat? Yeah. Cat? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Always. I, the, it, I saw I saw Thundercat with a six string and was like, I want a six string bass. Yeah. And then I got one. Oh. But yeah, you know. Where's your Where's your six string bass? I haven't seen that one. Uh, it is. I played it for one or two gigs. Our first show. Oh, yeah. I played it, but it's so like heavy. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Open B string in Daryl. All the bass. Oh, crazy. Yeah. But yes, it doesn't get it doesn't get used much because it's so heavy. But yeah, I'd say um yeah, just like rock and indie and jazz are my influences, really. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And Van Moss, today I have a gift for you guys. Oh. It is Tom oh. Young, Animal. I was just about to say that I fucking love Radiohead, oh. and I'm sure oh. that you guys are well aware. Thank you of so Tom much. Your work. That is fucking amazing. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, you, you guys told me that uh, you really liked what was it Radiohead Amnesiac yeah is that, is that how you say it yeah yeah Amnesiac yeah. and I was like that was, I heard I, of that record but I was like I'm never gonna fucking find yeah, that vinyl anywhere I couldn't, <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't pick an album what can you tell us about Radiohead and Tom York what, what does he mean to you um I, I just really like their sound it's like they're all because there's like five people in the band so they're all sort of on different wavelengths like mm. Uh, I don't know. Just, yes, it's a very unique, otherworldly sound, and I really like it. Yeah, and uh, what can you tell us about your other project, Lost Goat Found? Oh, it's um, Josh's cousin and my brother. We've all grown up together. Mm. Cool. Yeah. So um, yeah, we still grew up together jamming, and um, I learned to play bass and play bass with them. It's good fun. Uh, any of you guys in any other projects that you want to shout out really quickly? Shout out to Forever Road because it gave me heaps of... Shout out to Forever Road because it gave me heaps of experience. I was with them for like... Is that like country? Music? Yeah, it's a country band I was in. Country rock. Um, country rock. Shout out to Johnny Ringo's for giving us heaps of gigs. Cool. Um, but yeah, that's that's where a lot of my um, Brisbane gigging experience came from. Mm. Was playing a bit of country bass lines, a bit nice. of rock, you know. Um Everything from Eagles to, yeah, ACDC to mm. all that good stuff. Van Moss is like my music baby, I think. <laughs> like, it's my first project. Shared yeah, well, <laughs> shared, yeah, well, yeah. Shared custody for sure, but oh, it's my first ever. A quadruple. Yeah, it's definitely, it's a quadruple. It's a dual parenting here. Now, I know that, James, you're in another project, Florid and Sorry. Would you describe it as uh, math rock or how would you... 
Um, yeah, I guess it, like heavily influenced by a lot of stuff of mm. um, listening to it math, like math rock, but I'd, I'd say like just kind of early two thousands, like old school emo kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the, like math rock sort of influences, but there's really like very little actual math in it. <laughs> there's only one song with it that's a tiny bit mathy. But quick math it. rock. Yeah, just quick maths. <laughs> Nine plus ten, twenty one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I had to think. <laughs> <laughs> and if Van Moss could tour or collab with any artist ever, who would you pick? Um, and don't say Gigi Allen like Wetlands did. <laughs> Dude, see, I was going. I thought I had something to say, but I don't know. <laughs> if we could get Requin to reunite, oh, come and, back, yeah, Requin! Yeah, Requin, and two of them, that would be their dream come true. Dude, I- Sick. They're just amazing. Now the penultimate question for Van Moss. What is the meaning of life, according to each of you? <laughs> Fuck bitches, get money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, rule to live no, by. Okay, that was terrible. Ain't um, nothing but a G thing. Dude, no, I feel like, well, to always do anything, like, just the things that make you happy. Like, working in fucking fast food is shit, and I hate it, is what I do. And it's like, well... McDonald's I'm, five years, brother. Yeah, I've been there. Both, yeah. <laughs> See, Hungry Jack's. So I think I'm a bit better there, but that's okay. <laughs> Oi, sorry, the sorry to interrupt real quickly. Gizzy is giving us a little visit. Gizzy! He's looking at your shit. He's a little... Oh, where is he? He's a little lizard. There he is. I'm gonna Say hi, buddy. Oh, he's off. All right. Back to it. <laughs> okay, back to it. Yeah, no, I feel like... Okay, meaning of life... Yeah, take every day doing things that make you happy, and if you don't do the things that make you happy every day, then you're not going to be how happy, are you? Mm. And that's, yeah, I feel like... I mean, yeah, lifelong journey, that one, but hey. Three deep, five me, what can I say? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> he gets it. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> uh, now, what's next for Van Moss? I know that you guys um, Ooh, are baby. recording some stuff. I don't know how much you want to let got go. We've big things. Big things. And they're coming <laughs> soon. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, we're working on this EP. We've got almost all of our songs, like four or five songs for this EP coming up. And then um, I think from there, dude, yeah, we're meeting with... um, Yeah, yeah and then a full, full length. length we've got fucking full length. We ran, managed oh, to shit. write that. Like our set, yeah, we managed to write... um probably an album's worth album's worth of uh, material in about like a year six months maybe anyway so that's just getting into the studio and fucking bashing that out and then um yeah then i reckon do some actual big gigs in like two of those coasts or something like that hell yeah that'd be fun that'd be pretty fun actually do something with it van moss thank you so much for coming on the show thank you my friend you're watching covers and chrome I'm yes, Scott Bars. This Scott is Bars. Van Moss. Van Moss. Stop interrupting me. This I'm is sorry. my interview. <laughs> 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 Thanks anyway. We'll see you next week. <laughs> and cut. Yeah, rolling on us like how we ran out of luck yet. Yeah. Last few months, it be like bungee when it jumps. Best snap from acceleration, face in the mud. Yes, yeah. this is real life. Clean later like a flood mess. Rona got us like, have we run out of luck yet? Last few months, be like bungee when it jumps. Best snap from acceleration, face in the mud. Yes, this is real life. Clean later like a flood mess.